Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add a downloadable image to your blogger post. So basically, we'll create a post and we'll add a button in that called download this image or something like that. And when the visitor clicks on the download button, we want the image to be downloaded to their system. So this is what we're going to do in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> So here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website. Let's go ahead and create a new post. So I'll just click on new post. And uh, let's add a title over here. Download image. And uh, let's go to the compose view. And let's add some line of text over here. So I'll just type, you can download the image by clicking on the download button. And below that we'll create a link. So I'll just type download the image and this is going to be our button so let's select this and uh, let's make it a link so here we can see we have this button called insert or edit link so i'll just click on that and uh, this is a text to display and here we can add the link for now we'll just type hash over here because we don't have the link as of now and i'll just click on apply so now we can see this is a link and uh, when we click on this link we want the image to be downloaded so first of all, let's upload an image over here in uh, my blogger post. So I'll just click on insert image and click on upload from computer. And let's select an image from here. So I'll just click on choose files. And this is the image that we're going to insert. So let's click on open. And let's select the image and click on select. All right, so now we have this image over here. And uh, let's add the link of this image to this uh, link right here. So for that, let's go over here to the HTML view. So click on this button right here and click on HTML view. And you can find the HTML code over here. So first we have this paragraph and then we have this division and uh, then we have this image right here. So this is the link of the image. So let's copy this and let's add it to our anchor tag. So let me just bring it down here. And uh, this is the anchor tag, which is the link. So let's go ahead and replace this hash with the link of the image. So I'll just paste it over here. All right, now let's click on publish and confirm. And let's view this page. So let's click on view. And here we have this uh, text and we have this image right here. And if you click on this download button, we can see that we are taken to the image, but the image is not being downloaded. So now if you want to download the image, when you click on this button, we have to upload this image to Google Drive. So let's do that. So just go to drive.google.com and here you have to upload the image. So let's go ahead and click on new and click on file upload. And let's upload this image right here. All right, so the image has been uploaded. Now let's get the link of the image. So let's right click over here and click on get link. And here we can see the link of the image. Let's change the restricted to anyone with the link. So that even if someone is not logged into their Google account, they can still download the image. So let's copy the link from here and let's click on done and let's open the post and here we have the link of the image. Let's go ahead and replace this with the link from the Google Drive. All right, so now let's click on update and uh, see what changes we have. Let's uh, refresh this page and let's click on the download button and here we can see that we are taken to Google Drive and here we have this download button and if I click on this button, we can download the image. So we can see that the image has been downloaded. But if you want to directly download the image when you click on the button, we have to make some changes in the URL. So here we can see this is the link right now and uh, it is taking us to the Google Drive website. Now let me show you what changes you need to make to this uh, link. The first thing you need to do is remove this uh, keyword from here, view USB sharing. So let's remove that. And uh, this is the ID of the image. So we have to keep that. And we also have to remove file D from here and we have to replace it with something else. So delete this from here. Now we can see we have drive.google.com and we have the ID of the image. Now here you have to type UC question mark export equals download ampersand ID equals and then we have this ID right here. So this is how you convert this link to a downloadable link. Now let's go ahead and click on update. And here we have the post. Let's refresh this page. And let's click on the download button. And we can see that the image has been downloaded. So that is basically how you add a downloadable image to your blogger website. Now let's make this image a little smaller and uh, 
we will add some styles to this button. So let's go back and let's go to this uh, compose view. Let's click on the image and uh, we'll go to settings and we'll click on small and we'll move it to the left. So let's click on align left and here we have the link at the right of the image. Let's click on update and we'll also add some styles to this button. So let's go back and uh, refresh this page. I'll just quickly add some styles uh, using the inspect element tool. So I'll right click over here on the button and click on inspect. And we also need to add a class to this button so that we can select that in the CSS. So let's go back and let's go to the HTML. And uh, here for the button, we will also add a class. So I'll just type class equals and we'll just type download button. All right, let's click on update. And uh, let's refresh this page. Let's go back to the inspect. Now Blogger has automatically added these paragraph tags over here. So we have to remove that. Let's go back and let's remove paragraph from here and also the ending tag. And we'll also remove the image from uh, this uh, division right here. So let's delete all of this and all this from here. So now we have just the paragraph, then the image and then the button right here. Let's update it and see how it looks. All right, now let's add some styles to this button. So right click over here and inspect. So here we have the anchor tag, which is our button. Now let's bring it to the bottom of this image. So let's add a property called display block. Now when you add display of block, it will take up the full width. All right now let's add some more styles over here. So I'll just type padding and we'll set it to eight pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. And we'll also have a border of one pixel solid black. Now let's set the width of the button. So I'll just set it to 200 pixels and we'll text align it to the center. Now let's set the color of the text to black and we'll also set the border radius to eight pixels. So we have these rounded corners over here. We'll also set the font weight to bold and we'll also add a margin to the top. So let's type margin and for top and bottom, we will have a margin of eight pixels and uh, for left and right, we will have a margin of zero. Right now, let's copy all of this and add it to our CSS. So let's copy this from here. And uh, let's go back to our uh, dashboard. Let's go to theme and then click on this arrow right here and click on edit HTML and then scroll down and find the CSS. So this is all the CSS. Let's go to the end of the CSS. So this is where the CSS ends. Let's add a comment. So I'll just type download button and let's add the class name over here. So I'll just type download button and here we will paste the CSS. And while we are here, let's also add some styles for the hover. So let's type download button colon hover. And when we hover, we want to have a background color of black and the color of the text to white. And we want to have a smooth transition. So I'll just type transition of all to 500 milliseconds. Right now let's click on save and let's refresh this page. And we can see we have everything just as expected and we have this download button. Let's hover over that and we have the hover animation. And when we click on the download button, the image is downloaded over here. So this is how you can add a downloadable image to your blogger website. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.